now from Milwaukee. This is today's TMJ4 live at 10. Now at 10 erosion forces a family to leave their home as it dangles precariously over Lake Michigan. Well, it may not be there for much longer. The family that lived there for years is now questioning what's next. Ann Sterling spoke with them. She's in studio tonight with their story. Hi, Ann. Hey, good evening, I should say. This home really has been in Tom Lindgren's family for more than 40 years. It once had a beautiful backyard, a large maple tree, and a comfortable porch. A perfect place to take in a high-priced view of Lake Michigan, but now it's all gone. This house on 17th Street in Summers is on the verge of falling into Lake Michigan. What you're seeing down there is the porch. Tom Lindgren and his wife were sitting inside drinking coffee during last weekend's storm. We heard a crash and I jumped up and looked out and our enclosed porch with the concrete floor and everything went crashing down. My wife grabbed the bag and we packed the bag and grabbed the dog and got out of here. Crashing waves and high winds over the past few years has been speeding up erosion on their property. The house is now dangling over Lake Michigan. That big chunk right there fell off last night. You know, where the tree is right there, that, that was here yesterday, you know, so. It goes so fast and it's so unstable. Shoreline erosion along Lake Michigan has been a problem for decades. Some homeowners invest in heavy rock barricades to fight the high waves. I still got to find a new place to stay. Lindgren says that's a price he can't pay. His three bedroom home is now boarded up. Tom and his bride were forced to move out earlier this week. I lived here as a kid. Yeah, I went to school here. <laughs> and uh, it's gone. And a couple of years ago, Tom says he did receive a $300,000 estimate to build a seawall, something that he just cannot afford. Right now, he is speaking to officials with the Village of Summers. They are the ones that came up and boarded up his home.